friends, you never know who you'll touch in life. You never know how or when you'll have an impact or how important your example can be to someone else. My faith helps me understand that circumstances don't dictate my happiness or my inner peace. The chances you take, the people you meet, the people you love, the faith that you have, that's what's going to define you. You have to be who you are in this world, no matter what. At the end of the day, my friends, it's not about what you have or even what you've accomplished. It's about what you've done with those accomplishments. It's about who have you lifted up? Who have you made better? It's about what you've given back to those people. I think, personally, a role model is a mentor, someone who you see on a daily basis and you learn from them. My faith taught me how to forgive. Faith taught me when people present themselves in a certain way, there's probably some backstory or issue or reason for the way that they are acting. It's not you, my friends. It's them. And a lot of times, it's about something that's completely out of their control. Put God first. I've been protected. I've been directed. I've been corrected. <clears throat> I've kept God in my life and it's kept me humble. I didn't always stick with him, but he always stuck with me. Don't be afraid to think outside the box. Don't be afraid to fail big, to dream big. But remember, dreams without goals are just dreams and they ultimately fuel disappointment. And understand, to achieve these goals, you must apply discipline and consistency. You'll never see a U-Haul behind a hearse. It's not how much you have in life. It's about what you do with what you have. It, that's where the success is in helping others. Say thank you in advance for what's already yours. That's how I live my life. True desire in the heart for anything good is God's proof to you sent beforehand to indicate that it's yours already. My advice is this, and it's simple. Don't just aspire to make a living. Friends, aspire to make a difference. And may God bless each and every one of you, and take good care. Bye-bye now. Good afternoon. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I'm an addiction recovery coach, a life coach, and the host of this show to take your life back today show. Uh, it's the radio show, but you can see a video version of this if you go to YouTube under channel Take Your Life Back Today Show. Beautiful day out today, but nothing will ever define me because I define me. The weather can't define me. Nothing can. They cannot limit me. I am limitless. No one can limit me. No one can define who you will be. Only you decide who you will become. So don't let other people rule you. They think, uh, people, people think that I can't do it. People believe I won't do it. They say I lack the talent to do it. They say it's impossible for me to do it. They are right. It is impossible for them, not for me, because I am very uh, uh, strong-minded. They do not define me, because I define me, and I want you to define yourself. Don't let other people define you. They do not set the standards. You set your own standards. They cannot impose limits. You have no limits. They cannot control how you feel. You decide how you feel. You decide how you react. You decide how you respond to every event, every situation, every setback, every comeback, and every challenge. It's me versus me. I alone decide who I will become, and I want you to do the same. They can judge, they can assume, they can point the finger. They, their judgments are ignored by you and by me. Their assumptions aren't welcome. Their finger will point to a destination I'm not going. I'm only headed in one direction, and that is to the top. Come and join me there. To growth. My focus is not on their opinion. My focus is on what I I know I can do. My focus is on what I will do. Folks, they can't stop you or me. We are unstoppable. They can't limit us. We are, un, uh, we are limitless. They can't define us. We are undefinable. They can label me. They can label you. But I rip those labels right off and I keep going. 
I decide who I will become and no one else will decide that for me. They always uh, uh, be a step behind me because their focus is on me. My focus is on my path. Folks, my past can remind me, but it won't define me. Others can guide me. They can walk beside me, but they will not define me. They will not limit me. They will not stop me or even slow me down. My mistakes guide me. They do not define me. They are lessons, not sentences. Lessons to learn. Lessons to grow. Lessons to be better and better who I was. Because who I am is much bigger than who I will be in, uh, in uh, my own hands. My judgment is reserved for myself and the Almighty God. My life will be defined by my work, my effort, my sacrifice, and by me. Only me. By the time they discover my weakness, I've already made it my strength. Hence the book I wrote, Struggles Became My Strength. My life will be defined by my work, by my effort, by my sacrifice, by me. That's how it's going to be sacrificed. Only me. I will never pretend to be different than who I am. I will never want to be different than who I am. I will not change who I am just to fit into the crowd. I am me. You be you. I am not perfect by a long shot, but I am working on myself. Working to become the best version of myself. I am working on myself each and every day with God's guidance and directions I'm getting there. To continue to expand my own self through my own work in my own way, I am me. Not the me you think I am. Not the me you want me to be. Just good old Ralph, me, the one I want to be. And I want you to be who you are. Don't be different for anyone else. I make my own decisions. I don't follow. I walk my own path. It's not always easy, that I can guarantee you, but I'd rather walk alone than walk with others in the wrong direction. Do you see where I'm going with that? Because we are who we are. Because I am me, I am strong, I have a big heart. I speak the truth, I don't back down, I am me. I'm very transparent. I don't settle, I go after what I want, I won't uh, apologize for being me. I am me. I accept you, I accept everyone around me as they are, and you should do the same. As they want to be, that's me. Be yourself. Call me at 844-405-HELP. Together we can help each other take our lives back. Be good to yourselves. Always be good to each other. Remember, a simple smile to a stranger can help that stranger change their day and can change your day. With God's guidance and direction, I want you to be you. Do not be an artificial you be the real you, the masterpiece that God has created. Because God truly loves you. And when he created you, he wanted you to be who you are today. Don't change ever. Be you and I will be me. Take good care and we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye now.